this solitude or the Rapunzel syndrome. <laughs> um, how else has it affected your life? Uh, well, I've really recognized my girlfriend as my best friend. Uh, I just know how much fun we have here. And I think about a lot of people in other situations who I know are not having as much fun as us. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we cook, we play games, we watch movies, mm -hmm. we go for a walk. It's like all the basic parts of life and we're keeping each other so happy and entertained. And it's just like really solidified for us that we're meant to be together. Um, so that's a positive that I'm drawing from this situation. One of the few. That's great. That's a, what a what a wonderful thing. <laughs> yeah, I hope I said that loud enough. She might. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we I mean, she might still be sleeping. I don't know whether or not she heard that or not. I assume she's not. I can say it again. Say it again louder. In, in, is she behind the camera, like coaxing you, or you know? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> well, no. She, <laughs> well, she's in the house yelling. Sorry, is here again. <laughs> This is just the audio version of Brother R.A., the brother with too much to say, on a Thursday at 4.30, OMG. I have so much to say, so much to do, and uh, there's just never enough time. Let me just make this statement, too. This is the CCTV version. Please tune in to BrotherRA.com. And if you got me on Instagram, I sent out my Instagram message and now I'm required or I'm <clears throat> adapting to the scenario situation with coronavirus, YouTube, iMovie, CCTV. I'm on 15 minute segments on YouTube, 15 minute segments from iMovie to YouTube, and now we have a 27-minute segment, segment on Thursday, every other Thursday. Not We have me two weeks ago, we have me this Thursday, and you'll have me in two weeks. So that's our schedule, and it all can be found on brotherra.com. Hit the YouTube icon. Now, that's enough our advertisement. Now, <clears throat> I came up with a thought as I was ending the show and dealing with a housemate, interesting my story and my dream, despite the reality of the situation I'm in. And I was discussing pride, 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 put my pride aside. And of course, I was dealing with the Dow. And I'm reading a new book now, too, The Wisdom of China and India, to go along with the DVDs that I've been ingesting. And uh, let me just pull this quote out real quick. The teacher is talking to his students, and the teacher says, Dao is everywhere. And... He made reference to <clears throat> that Tao is in your excrement. All-knowing master, please show us God. They said, Chun Se replied, God is omnipresent. He is in the table, in you and me, even in excrement. Oh, master, how could God be there? Chun Se replied, if God were not in our bowel movement, we would all be in big trouble. So my housemate made reference to me. <laughs> I said, that's a good RA quote. If Dow is not in your shit, you have a big problem. <laughs> and the whole question, you know, as the divine energy tapping into myself, who am I? I am that one. I am I. That I is drawn straight up and down. That one is drawn straight up and down. So I have to learn to relax. Why hurry? My integrity is straight with me. 
lax with myself and let it all go. And now, because it is the date that it is, May 7th, and May 7th, this is the month of Daddy's birthday. Oh, my goodness. Daddy was born on May 10th. And May 10th this year is Mother's Day. Wow. Mother's Day and Daddy's birthday. So who am I? Well, I've discovered or ingested or deal with me as Superfly Flying Tiger. <laughs> That's right. I am... Remember the 70s song, Superfly? And in Tai Chi class, he's be talking about fly like a, you know, move like a fly and upside down lightning. And it's zoom, zoom, zoom. So I'm Superfly, Flying Tiger. And the Flying Tiger, the emblem for Roxbury Tai Chi Academy, is a tiger with a sword in its mouth. Hmm. Damn, I didn't get high before the show. I was supposed to be high now because it seems to come out a little bit smoother. I don't sound so edgy. I feel like I'm on edge, but that's all right. I'm not going to do that deep abdominal breathing, inhale, getting high on air. Uh, not at this point because I'm late in the game. And 27 minutes is going to go by real quick in that 15 minutes. I'm already nine minutes in <clears throat> on the YouTube side. But life for me being melanin dominant. You know how y'all have solar panels on your roof and the panels take in the sunlight and convert into electricity? Well, we as melanin-dominant people have that in our skin. Melanin-dominant is significant. And as one who has been studying and researching, wait a minute, what is this pineal gland? What do you mean? Okay, so there's only two types of people. There is one type of person with a liquid pineal gland has moisture in the first eye. And then there's the calcified pineal gland. You have no moisture in your first eye. And so dealing with coronavirus and the media <clears throat> pandemonium, and what kind of societal structure are we in? So I, as a melanin-dominant Black man, picking up where Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., well, I am Brother R.A. Jr., <laughs> and I have a dream. My dream in 2020 is that Hugh, H-U-E, humanity acknowledges what hue or melanin or biological living light is, so I have to acknowledge that I am Father Nature, a father in nature, with the moisture in my first eye, understanding myself as a child of the sun, the S U N. And as a child, a son, a beam of light, I still have to think of my physical attributes and be light as a feather. 
So it's discussed that Jesus walked on water. And I'm like, how the hell could that dude do that? <laughs> oh, he's Jesus Christ. But after 20 years of working with Master Hege in Roxbury Tai Chi Academy, and that's why I make fun of, you know, being Superfly Flying Tiger and delving deep into my, what it means to be melanin or melanated or having biological living light in the surface of my skin and understanding why the ancestors built a square at the bottom of the pyramid and then at the top of the pyramid is one eye. One eye capable of being able to see north, south. Those are, that's a straight line going from north to south. And east to west, that's the perpendicular line. And if you look at those two lines, they make a plus sign. And the base of the pyramid, a square and a circle, both have 360 degrees. So are we capable of accessing the full 360 degrees of who we are. So with a calcified pineal gland, that's like taking a compass and trying to draw a circle, but all you draw is the lower half of the circle. And you don't reach the upper half of the circle. So math and science and philosophy and theology and all of this is all wrapped up in the symbol of the pyramid. But do we acknowledge that as divine energies? Do we take time for ourselves now that we, have, now that I have a captive audience, everyone stuck in the house with coronavirus, I'm sharing my integrity. I'm sharing I as a responsible thinking black man. Huh. Here's a question. What would your potential be if you allowed yourself to access all of the capacity of your mind and imagination? In reading this book, The Wisdom of China and in India, Lin Yet Tang. Y U T A N G, he delves deep into India's knowledge of divinity or spirituality. Now, how do you define a spirit? How do you define divinity? Can it be shapeless and formless? I think about, okay. I'm on planet Earth, the third planet away from the sun, and Earth is an orb, the sun is an orb, and so I, as a thinking, mountain dominant black man, are thinking about being the horizon. Is it possible to be that straight line? The horizon? understanding the perpendicular lines within your mind in each one of those perpendicular lines where the cross pieces meet open up wait a minute Pythagorean theorem a squared first the man has to understand the full square of who he is and become that Q B squared the mother has to become a cube not only just a 
flat line circle or a square, but you have to become the cube to have the depth and in understanding yourself. And as you watch on prior Brother R.A. content, you see the cube, the crucifix falls up into a cube. Are you capable of allowing or permitting yourself to fold up into the cube and see the depths of who you are and not be contained by a calcified pineal gland media Oh, don't go outside, stay six feet away. That's the worst thing you could do to a human population is isolate them. Brothers in incarceration understand how to deal with the themselves. But now you have the average Joe stuck in his house. Oh my God, my neighbor, she leaves the house eight times a day. Where are you going? Why are you in a hurry? What are you gonna do? Think. It's not illegal yet. Okay, so that's for that segment for YouTube. I hope to read my poems in the next segment. I'm going to end for you on CCTV. That's just the YouTube by YouTube people when I get this and upload it to there. But what's my responsibility as a black man, father nature, to share? Okay. Black men, we've dropped, we've dropped the ball in our role and responsibility. We let the black woman's value depreciate. The womb is not respected. What was I saying? A squared plus B squared. Now, if the woman understands her divinity, whether she's mutant or dominant, you understand with your mind and your imagination and it's mind or matter, what you think matters. So those in control of the media creating the isolation, and wait a minute, wasn't the CDC the people that caused the syphilis experiment and it just ended in 70 something. And then they gave a presidential apology in 1999. And now everyone, oh, the CDC, wear a mask. All right, where's your mask? Where's your mask? How come you ain't got a mask? You got to wear a mask in Tai Chi class. I did wear that mask because the sisters in that class was like, hmm. You could have coronavirus. Look, I'm not afraid of death at 58. They should have took my ass out a long time ago. But I'm here. I'm trying to share knowledge with thinking people to understand self. So B squared, A squared plus B squared equals, wait a minute, equal two parallel lines horizontally drawn and that comes out to C square and this child uh, all I'm doing is thinking seven to ten generations down the line during coronavirus I see my melanin recessive calcified albino children are not thinking that far into the future with the president called Trump has he been Trump or is he trying to Trump us or I'm just going to call him my Trump pet. <laughs> yeah, Trump pet. He can make all the noise he wants, but that's not going to fuck with my individuality because I'm an undivided individual. And I wish to share that with more. And so the most important thing on this before Mother's Day and Daddy's birthday is with people to understand who you are and your greatness and understand that you got to tell your story. 
You are an ancestor. Value who you are, men and women. Calcified pineal gland or liquid pineal gland. Our story. Create our media. Now, I'm looking at Vinci Code. What was the code that Tom Hanks, okay, that was OB from Andy Griffin producing Da Vinci Code and Tom Hanks was in that flick. Excuse me, you're reading the Metanetta. What is the Metanetta? Understanding the messages of the ancestors. <laughs> and doing yesterday's show, I dropped it and came to. And it, how do you even say this? Uh, and I don't know. A N D R O. Ad Adramina Strand, whatever the name of this is. Yeah, it's not a slave master's language, but the Andromeda Strand. Oh, we sent something into outer space and the satellite came back with life on it and then it killed everybody in the community where it landed? Huh. So is life valued? Oh, no, you have an essential employee. You're not essential. You can't be an employee anymore. You got to stay at home. Well, in this time of staying home, Spend time with yourself, developing your self-esteem and self-confidence. Look into your eyes. Spend time in the mirror. I spend a half an hour about looking in my left eye, half hour in my right eye, but I have that ability after practicing meditation and movement and standing still, I am capable of you know, allowing the Earth's energy 4,000 miles deep, the core, the center of the Earth, the third planet, I'm standing in the melting rock, and that energy rises up to the balls of my feet, to my heels, to my ankles, to my bone marrow, to my flesh, to all my veins and arteries, up to my pelvis. And then I allow the liquid moisture my first I to receive the North Star energy come down through the soft spot in my crown. And then I think about the nerve endings. How does, how do I feel anything? I think about my kidney, liver, heart, lung, and spleen and go deep within myself, looking in my eye. I see the pupil. Did I make reference to the compass? And how does the information get to my brain? And so I'm completing the circle, seeing in my eye a full 360 degrees inside my iris, on my eyeball, 360 degrees. Spend time with yourself. Meta Netta, create messages for your children to think it's not illegal yet. Okay, and then duplicity. I watch that with... Uh, Julia Roberts and Clive Owens. Is everything duplicit? Are, are we spies <laughs> for ourselves and we are not men of honor? I'm looking at that here with Robin Arrow and Cuba Gooding Jr. Cuba played, based on a true story, a black man wanted to be a scavenger at the bottom of the ocean and his leg got hurt and he cut off his leg so he can continue to work. Now see that level of integrity where you want to work to serve the community, not serve a corporation. Value yourself as a divine energy. Understand your greatness. And oh yeah, that's right too. I got about three minutes left. Yeah, I, I hear you, Seth. Don't run over. It's gonna cut you off. I know. Well, being this fifth element and understanding myself and my duplicity and being a man of honor and self-respect and self-esteem. Do I go ahead and deal with spiritual pornography? <laughs> Three minutes 
left. Yes, new series of Brother R.A. is now going to be spiritual pornography. Yeah, how can you, how can he say that? Oh my God, spiritual? How can you be spiritual and pornographic? That's two opposite ends. But what about North and South and East and West? I'm dealing with all aspects. And so whose who's language are we speaking? The caveman, the ice man, the man who evolved? Okay, here, look, read this real quick. This is a poem. Could it be your media is killing you? Language, names, news, misinformation, disinformation, newspapers, old post, times, journal, herald, metro, chronicle, banner, television, commercials, drama, so talk television, sports TV, documentary, documentaries, docudramas, radio, music, music videos, music channels, noise, talk radio. Talk radio, advertising, billboards, pictures, photographs, sculptures, shapes, buildings, names of buildings in art. Oh shit, I don't hear yeah, all these doors, all these open or closed doors inside your mind. Even these here lines. So I want to thank you for spending your time here listening to these lines. You're so very kind. And let's make sure I'm on the clock. Host. 56, okay. Could it be your media screen? I've been your host, Brother R.A. That's all I had to say for today's segment. I don't believe I even touched upon the real issues, but I'm going to shut up now because it's going to cut me off. Bye. Thanks for tuning in, Brother R.A. Please go to BrotherRA.com and pick up all the other segments.